hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Ajulam here thank you so much for coming around and if this is your first time of coming across my channel you're welcome kindly subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime i upload a new video and for my returning subscribers thank you so much i appreciate you all so for today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a halter neck ball dress for an eight year old baby girl so if you're interested keep on watching the stuff i'll be working with this is the lace this is my satin my lining and the hard net so that is it so as usual i will start with the upper part so the body's um, length is 13 inches plus one inch for my seam allowance making it 14 so i'm going to mark that out on a straight line so this is the body's length which is 14 inches so the next thing to do now is to insert the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement is 13 inches so 13 divided by 2 is six and a half so i'm going to mark out the six and a half here but if you want to add a sleeve you make it seven inches half will be for your sleeve and um, seam allowance okay but for this i will not be adding any sleeve to it so i'll come down by half inch for the shoulder so this half inch is for the shoulder slope so for the neck width i'll be using two and quarter okay i want this to be a very high neck okay like um kind of um, a total neck so that is two and quarter and i'll use the same two on and quarter on this other side that is the neck depth so i'm going to connect that line i'm going to connect this okay so now i'm going to connect this point to this point here okay in drafting out um a halter neck you need to draft out the basic bodies before doing that so i am drafting out the basic bodies before all train it so here i'll be using six inches that is for the armhole remember i said the easiest way of going about your armhole is the shoulder divided by two for this the shoulder is um, 13 divided by two that is six and a half as you can see i have removed half here already so i just added the remaining six inches if you check from this shoulder line now it is the same six and a half so that is that so here i will just mark at the shoulder measurement which is six and a half as well and then i'll connect it to a straight line like this so now this is the chest line for this dress i'll be adding a princess that to this okay so i'll check what i have here here is six so half of that is three inches and then there i'll come in by three quarter which is here so the chest measurement is 30 divided by 4 that is seven and a half which is here plus one inch for my seam that is the point so i'm going to connect that okay so this is the point so for the darts now remember i said i'll be adding a princess that to this I'll mark out from the shoulder the chest point, which is seven and quarter, and that is this point here. Okay, I'll mark that out on a straight line. Okay, so this is seven and quarter there. So the next thing now is to mark out under the chest, which is nine inches from the shoulder. Okay, so this is nine inches. I'm going to mark that out on a straight line as well okay so this is it now the nipple point is three and quarter which is six and is six and a half actually so that is three and quarter i'll add another quarter to it for my seam that is three and a half so i'm going to mark that three and a half down to the um, waist area so this is the three and a half here i'm going to connect that to a straight line 
okay so now this is it now here i will check what i have on this side okay i'll just place my tape like this and check what i have to this actual chest measurement which is seven and quarter so i'm going to fold my tape like this on that point this is seven and quarter to determine the midpoint okay so now this is the midpoint here i'm going to add half inch to that point which is here now and then i'll connect it to this chest point like this okay so now this is it i'll be using half inch on both sides for the waist and the under um the chest this is it so i'm using half inch okay so i'm going to connect those lines like this okay this is my own way of going about this you can also find a way that is easy for you to work with all right so this is it here now i'm going to use this so that this sharp end will not be there okay so this is it now here i will be adding three quarter inch to this point reason being that when making a princess that if you don't add extra on this side by the time you finish joining one will be longer than the other or you have shortage okay so the best thing to do is to add extra inches to this point so now remember here i added half inch on both sides that is one inch so i'm going to add include that one inch on my measurement so this is the one inch here okay now the waist measurement is um, 28 28 divided by 4 is 7 plus my one inch for seam okay plus the one inch for this um that here okay so that is the point there i will now connect that to a straight line like this okay so here now this is the new this is the new line okay so as you can see it's very easy to draft out so this is the princess that area now for the halter neck which is the main and um, purpose of this um tutorial i will just use um my um french curve okay and give it the shape that i want but make sure at the end of the day you have to connect it back to this point here okay so i'm going to place it like this now okay and then i'll connect it like this okay so now this is it this is what i'll be cutting out okay but you make sure that you have enough to cover the the girl because at the end of the day you don't want the girl body to be showing so now this is the new line i'll be using so when cutting now i'll just cut this and end here this area now will no longer be um, useful i hope you understand that so now i'm going to cut this and show you how to cut the back pattern it looks like after cutting as you can see here i added half inch for my seam on this area so this is what it looks when i open it up so now i'm going to show you how to cut the back side after which i will now place this on my main fabric and cut so for the back i'll start um, by marking out one inch which is for the zipper allowance so now this is one inch i'm going to mark it down to this um, point here okay here i have the 14 inches already okay so this is 14 inches as you can see 
that is for the back so i'm going to connect this to a straight line like this okay so now the next thing to do is to mark out the shoulder measurements which is 13 divided by 2 and that will give me six and half which is here this is where i am uh, marking it out from so this is six and half here so i will come down by half inch for the shoulder slope remember i used two and quarter for the neck width okay so that is the point there i'm going to connect that after connecting it i will now mark out the armhole remember the armhole i used um six inches that so, so from this point i'll mark out six inches this is it then there i'll add i'll mark out the shoulder measurement which is six and a half and then i'll connect I'll connect to a straight line like this okay so now for this next um depth i'll be using half inch remember i said i want this to be a a kind of tortle neck so this is half inch there so i'll just connect okay so that is the point there now for this area remember what i i said if you want to add a sleeve you just place your um your french curve like this and connect it straight but if you don't want you can also use the same method i use for the front okay that is by marking out the midpoint here then you connect so that is it so i will insert the um chest measurement which is seven and a half that is 30 divided by four okay so this is seven and a half there okay plus one inch i'll be adding um that to the back side that is one inch okay plus one inch for seam that is the point there so now for the waist is um 28 28 inches divided by four is seven so this is seven plus the half inch for my dart and sorry that is one inch for that and one inch for my seam allowance so that is the point there. I'm going to connect it to a straight line like this. So the next thing to do is on this waist area, I'm going to come up by half inch. So that by the time you finish sewing your dress, one will not be longer. The front will not be longer than the other. Okay, so that is half inch. I'll just connect it straight to that point there. Okay. So I'm just straight to that point. As you can see. I connected it back to that point there so now the next thing to do now is to take my french curve remember this is half inch for my seam okay that is sorry for the hotter neck that is half inch this is the actual um neck um width so i'm going to use this now and place it on this half inch because that is where my um my seam allowance is so i'm going to just connect it straight to the chest line like this or better still you can use the the front one okay you can also use the front one and connect it's still the same thing so this is the this is the shape now as i'm cutting i'll just cut like this that is for the back so this is how simple it is i'm going to cut this out and place on my fabric so that we can start sewing
are all the pieces so i'm going to take this each one with the satin and secure it with them with a needle okay together like this so i'm going to do all um i'll separate the lining so now let me just use my pin like this to secure all one after the other after securing all with pin i'll start with the front this is the front so i'll start by sewing the the darts so i'm going to take one of these okay you make sure you place it like this to be sure which one to use so now this is it i'll just turn this over like this and i'll start sewing from this down okay and i'll repeat for this other side so after sewing the princess that this is what it looks like okay so i'm going to sew the lining as well that is the front um, lining so this is the lining after sewing the lining i will take the lining and place it over on this one making sure that the front is facing each other so now I'll place it over like this and I'll just close up the armhole, okay, leaving this place open because I'll be making it a turtleneck. Okay, so I'll just sew this armhole and I'll top stitch. So this is what it looks like after joining it. That is the armhole. As you can see, this is the back, okay, and this is the front okay there's one um, correction i would like you to make when adding your allowance for this you remember i used one inch for the seam allowance when i was drafting and um, the pattern you use one and half inch so that you can have enough allowance when you finish closing it up now my mine will be half inch allowance by the time i close it up as you can see so if you want to have more you just use one and half inch for seam allowance so now that is that i will now take the back parts okay and the lining as well i will sew just the armhole and the zip area okay leaving these parts open as well so i'm going to sew the two and turn it over after that i will now close the sides for this dress is going to have um part two where i'll be making the pleated part which is for the the down part okay so please check that out so that you see finally how the dress turn out to be so now let me just sew this so this is the back after sewing it with the lining as you can see this is how it looks i just um join it together i like doing it like this so that it will give me like a guide when i want to fix in the dots Okay, so this is the front so um, this is the back sorry so i'll just add the dots here okay and then i will now open this up and i'll take this and place it over making sure the two the center matches and then i will now um mark close up the sides of this dress so that is it remember i said earlier that this dress will have a second part so please try and watch that one so that you get to see the final look of this dress so guys that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i'll see you all soon